The good news is that you'll survive the operation. Now the bad news is that I'm not really a doctor. <laughs> and to you lucky people, it's just three modules left. So this is module 13 of the HACCP Intermediate Course. Module 13 of the HACCP Intermediate Course is verification, which is principle 6 in HACCP to establish verification procedures. So the aim of this evening is to understand the verification procedures to confirm that the HACCP system is working effectively. Learning outcomes by the end of this unit, delegates should be able to define verification, validation, review and maintenance. Explain the need to verify the HACCP system. Explain what is involved with verification of the HACCP system. Name the types of audits. Explain the need to validate elements of the HACCP plan to ensure they're effective. And explain the need to update and maintain the HACCP plan. So validation, verification and review. Validation, obtaining evidence that elements of the HACCP plan are effective especially the critical control points and critical limits. Verification, the methods, procedures and tests and other evaluations in addition to monitoring determine compliance with the HACCP plan. Now, validation and verification are very similar uh, in their definitions. The best way to remember the difference is validation is only done as a one-off when the HACCP plan, etc., when HACCP, uh, just before it starts, you validate it by checking everything is correct, everything works. Verification is an ongoing uh, procedure. Uh, verification could be done every month, for example, to make sure that the HACCP uh, system is working. So validation is a one-off done right at the beginning. Verification is ongoing. Review a reassessment of the HACCP system to assure its continued validity. So the frequency of verification, as I mentioned, depends on the HACCP team basically, but it could be every month, every two months, every three months, etc. Verification techniques. We need to audit against the HACCP plan. Use random testing and sampling. Challenge testing, which is almost like on-the-spot testing. Re-examine scientific data. Make sure CCPs are under control. Data and complete analysis. Research awareness of new technology, science and epidemiology. When to review HACCP? Well, at least at regular intervals. Um, and this should be, at the very least, annually. Or when something goes wrong or if new scientific data emerges uh, before the year is up, or when a confirmed complaint or illness occurs before the year is up, similarly when the raw materials or recipe changes, or when equipment or the process is changed, storage conditions or product use changes, packaging or distribution is changed, following modification of the HACCP plan, all review documentation must be recorded. Uh, again, it's a paper-based exercise. You can have a digital backup, but uh, it must be able to be reviewed uh, by environmental health departments and any other external, internal auditors. Uh, there's a lot of stuff there that needs, obviously, wet signatures. Maintenance. Uh, maintenance is maintaining the supporting elements and resources to ensure the plan remains valid over time and doesn't become out of date. You need to maintain the HACCP team, the sources of information, the HACCP documentation. So the key points for that section, verification. We looked at verification, validation, review and maintenance the need to verify the HACCP system, what is involved with verification of the HACCP system, the types of audits, the need to validate elements of the HACCP plan to ensure they're effective, and the need to update and maintain the HACCP plan.